What's going on everyone? Today we are starting on the PlayStation 3 Slim build. Custom firmware, one terabyte, over 3,500 games. We've got our Chrome XCM shell and our full water cooling loop ready to go put on this thing. So today what we're going to do, this is our custom one. I still have my other one that was in the Chrome shell. That was my personal one for quite a long time. Um, I don't remember what firmware is on it. I already have it taken apart. But basically I'm going to take the motherboard from that one and put all of the air-cooled factory stuff back on it and probably go ahead and just put that one on this custom painted shell I put here. And I kind of plan to just get a couple like Deadpool stickers because that's just what this makes me think of. Uh, put that on here and just sell it as a factory PS3 with a custom paint job. So that's the plan for today. So we're going to take this apart, put that other one back in that other shell, and then have all of this disassembled, get it ready to have it all cleaned out and put all the new stuff on in the next video. So yeah, we need to start by taking out our hard drive in the front, all the screws on the back, taking the shell off, and just removing everything. Uh, Blu-ray drive, getting it all down to the bare motherboard so that we can put the water block on this motherboard and put the other one back into this. So let's get going. Okay, we have the console upside down. We've got the hard drive removed from the front with that front plate, all these little clips and screws removed from the back and the few removed from the front here. We can now take the top of the shell off and start taking the inside parts out. All right, we've got the rest of it completely taken apart. Didn't show a whole lot of that, but we're going to show each step and putting it back together. And then in the next video, we'll be putting together the water-cooled version, so we'll kind of see the differences there. So first things first, uh, besides needing to dust the inside of this real quick, you just have to swap over the power plug and these two little metal shields, and then we can start putting the motherboards on. Now, unfortunately, here we've got two different motherboards, so I'm hoping... There's no differences on the shell part, which I don't think there is, but there is a difference on the metal shielding here. For example, you can see these prongs sticking up here. This one doesn't have that. It's actually a completely different shape. Um, the fan plug-in on the modded one is right here, and on this one, it's all the way up here. So I was just going to swap the metal shielding, but it looks like I am going to have to bust out the Dremel and cut that one. As you can see, this is the one that had the water block on it. We had to cut this whole middle section out. That will be this whole section here, which was a pretty big pain, but uh, it looks like we'll have to do that just because of these differences. Otherwise, I'll have to find every little spot that's different and kind of cut that frame there. But yeah, so I guess for now we're going to take the metal shielding off of this one. Um, now that I think about it, since I cut this out, hopefully that heat sink still fits over this um, just fine. I'm not sure if any of this interferes with that. Um, I think as long as the heat sink is touching our chips here um, and we still have the mounting points, it should be fine. So. Uh, we still need to take this metal frame off. This is the non-modded motherboard, so we need to put that. Um, actually, I guess we're leaving it in this metal frame. What am I talking about? So this is the one, uh, when we get to the water-cooled one, we're going to have to see where we're cutting out this metal frame to fit the water block. And that's one of the very few mods you really have to do besides cutting something to allow tubing to come out because you simply can't do a fully internal on the slim. But uh, as you can see here, we've got our custom painted shell. So I guess all we need to do is put the screws back in this, put our uh, thermal paste and heat sink on, and then we'll get ready to put this into the shell and start assembling everything. And we'll just set this stuff aside. We want to keep the same power supply, um, power eject button, and Blu-ray disk drive with this motherboard. So all that stuff will stay there. And obviously we're going to use the other disk drive, power supply, and everything 
that originally came with this motherboard and put it all back with that one and we'll put it in this custom frame so anyway um getting off topic not really but let's put our heat sink uh thermal paste on and put the heat sink on which we've already got cleaned up all the old thermal paste on all the boards actually so we're all ready to go okay so this heat sink obviously is now not going to fit on this one because of the difference in the metal shielding there and the motherboard itself and I don't have, I think I have just this plastic piece, the fan shroud. I don't have the original heat sink anywhere for this PlayStation because it's been water cooled for so long. Um, so... Alright, well, I guess there's nothing I can do right now. Because, yes, this is a 3000, this is a 2000... This is not going to fit on there. I don't have the other one. Um, I found someone who has the entire shielding and everything because the part that I cut out also had part of a heat sink on it. Forgot about that. It was a long time ago when I cut this out. So I'm going to have to order a different heat sink in order to even put this one back together, which really sucks. And that's kind of the end of the video. <laughs> so I guess we're going to have to set this aside. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and order that probably take a few days to show up so yeah this will kind of just be a bonus one um yeah that's what happens when you're so excited for a build you overlook some pretty important stuff but that means we can uh, start on this one tomorrow uh hopefully early before it gets too hot it's going to be well over 100 again so i need to figure out what i need to cut out on this metal shielding so we can get going on the water cooled one at least um, and we do actually also need to cut out a bigger hole on the top shell. Because this is made for a 120 millimeter fan. Um, but I'm going with the 140. Oh boy. I'm going with the 140, so we're going to need to make that a little bit bigger. Put some new mounting holes for the fan. And yeah, I'm pretty disappointed. i got to clean all this up so my cats don't eat the screws. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at the ruby red build I put this back together uh, I'm going to need to take it back apart one last time but uh, here it is with the full red shell and chrome if you follow me on TikTok you can see it plugged in and turned on briefly but uh, yeah I need to take it back apart so yeah there you go I screwed up the PS3's video today but I've gotten a lot of Great feedback so far on this on TikTok with the comments and yeah, I'm excited. Alright, well, see you later.